I, I found myself facing some of the, the strangest creatures I'd ever seen in my life. And at that moment, I knew uh, it, was a, it was an epiphany. Uh, it was a revelation. Uh, I knew that the stories of alien abductions were true, at least some of them. Coming from the mainstream, where I come from, being a skeptic myself, and then doing a 180 degree turn, I knew that I was going to take heat. Some of it, uh, some of it jocular, perhaps, some of it uh, hostile. But I knew I was going to take heat. You have taken heat. Yes, you? I have. I have taken heat. First of all, I said, well, what am I doing here? Uh, you know, well, what do you want me to write about? Well, um, they wanted to explain why they were there, how long they've been there, uh, where they come from, uh, and what, uh, what humans can expect over the next, uh, you know, the next uh, decade or so of the, of the, uh, of the, new, the new millennium. What they do is they explore. Their whole mission in life is to explore the universe, map and catalog as they come across new life forms, new planets, new civilizations. They've been doing this for thousands of years. Millions of years. Millions of years. Millions of years. They've been around since before the dinosaurs. Uh, that's how long their civilization, that's all their civilization is. Uh, they've been in space that long. And when they first started out, uh, they came across the first life form. Well, they approached it very carefully. They weren't sure, you know. Uh, and then finally they made contact. And then as, as their discoveries grew and, and became a handful of, of civilizations, they, and then, they, then they formed a kind of a loose confederation. Mm -hmm. They are members of a confederation. They, yes, they, they, have, they, have, they did form a confederation, and they shared the ex, uh, exploratory duties. And um, over the millennia, the Federation has grown to include today something like 27,000 different species from as many different... Different groups. races and different groups. From as many, from as many different planets. Incredible. Yeah. I would like to see us get to the bottom of what is going on. Even if, even if despite the thousands or tens of thousands of stories of people who have been abducted or who have sighted UFOs, even if not one is true, that is a major, major news story that the mainstream media refused to recognize. And this is where I made my 180 degree turn. When I used to scoff before, I, I, I felt like such a fool because this is a major story. Even if no one has ever been abducted, it's a major story. It may not be a scientific story. It might be a medical story. That's what John Mack keeps saying. Why is there this mass delusion, yeah. this almost pandemic delusions? And if one person has been abducted, you've got a tremendous science story. Yeah. So this story... If only one case is true... If only one case is true... It's still a hell of a story. And if none of the cases are true, it's an even bigger story. It's a bigger story. Why? What's Why? happening to the whole human race? What's hap what happened to me?